Hi, I'm Edwina. I'm Council's Resource and Waste Education Officer. And today I'd like to read In the Bin by Kelly Bollard. All through the week, we fill our bins with dirty old and broken things. With orange peels and apple cores, pineapple skins and old pawpaws. With soft drink cans, paper towel rolls, plastic forks, knives and bowls. With yogurt tubs, empty jam jars and ripped open wrappers from chocolate bars. There's eggshells, porridge scraps, milk cartons and bottle caps. Baby nappies filled with poo and leftovers from dinner too. The paper, the bottles, cardboard and tin, these all end up in the recycling bin. The fruit, the veggie scraps, these you can eat. They're the perfect ingredients for a great compost heap. And don't forget worms and what they can do. They chomp through the scraps from your kitchen too. So what's left for the green bin? What's its perfect load? Fill it with the weeds, the clippings, the grass that gets mowed. The red bin with the red lid gets the rest of the stuff. But this rubbish isn't recyclable, so stop. That's enough. So where does it all go? Where does it end up? When it goes from the bin into the back of the truck. Well, the paper gets pulped and the cardboard does too. Then it's made into paper that looks brand new. The glass and the metal get melted back down and become bottles and tins for a second time round. The plastic that's numbered one through to six become wheelie bins and clothes pegs and small plastic bricks. Garden seats, compost bins, bollards on the road. There's no end of the stuff that's made from this truck's load. But the rubbish stays as rubbish. It just becomes landfill. An ugly blot on the landscape, a massive rubbish hill. So next time you start to fill your bins with dirty, old and broken things, think about where does it all go? Where does it end up? When it goes from the bin into the back of the truck. Then recycle it, reuse it, and reduce the waste that's dumped in our bins in the first place. See you again soon.